you next time. Yeah. Bye. Say bye to the wall. Oh, I love you. Nice to see you. All right. <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay. Howdy, folks. Today is moving day. If you didn't know already, my name is Dakota Lynn. I'm moving to New York. It's gonna be really fun. I'm currently at the SeaTac airport. Just checked in. A very, 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 very kind person waived the fee for my oversized bags. I'm still in shock. Like, how does that happen? I'm so grateful. I got my Starbucks because I need coffee this morning. I was so anxious. I was up so late last night. I did, probably didn't sleep much more than an hour because I was just anxious about moving. So I'm very, very tired, but it will be very fun. I'm not extremely sad or as sad as I thought I would be. It's just gonna be a good time. We're moving across the country to a city I've always wanted to and it's just, it's gonna be the most grand thing ever. So I'm gonna drink my coffee, go to my gate. My flight leaves at 7.40 in the morning. I'm gonna get to New York by 3.30, which will be very, very nice. And then I have all the moving things to do. So we're, we're going across the country. We're, we're going, here we go. forms filled out everything was very safe very empty and I feel super comfortable I'm really thankful for all of the precautions they're taking and I'm just about to get in an uber to my apartment okay so currently I have to get this massive suitcase up this large flight of stairs and I already got all of them up on the stoop outside the door and I got these three over here up at the top I'm so hot we got it okay I am a sweaty mess. I'm staying in Brooklyn for the first month of my time here in New York. I probably will move to another place in Brooklyn as well. I really love Brooklyn so much. I'm just like analyzing the space. I literally just parked. So yeah, my flight was great. The airport was super safe. Loved the entire experience. I got an entire row of seats to myself. My roommate Blade is currently out of town, so he'll be back tomorrow. But I got car sick on the way over and I'm starving, so I think I'm gonna go out, pick up some stuff to clean up my space and some groceries because I don't have anything to eat and then grab some food. I have a lot of things to do now that I'm here but it will be very fun and I'm looking forward to cleaning and spicing up and showering and doing all of those things. So I think for now, we're gonna head out, get a Metro pass and do some exploring and shopping and eating and then come back and figure out what I'm gonna do with my life when I get back this evening, so. Yay, we made it to New York. I'm living in New York. What the heck, wow. Here is a teeny tiny room tour. I don't really know how many square feet the space is, but it's pretty small. I have all my suitcases, which fill up a lot of the space, and then this little bed that Blade made for me, and then he left me a little towel, and some hand soap, and some masks, what a king, and some packages that I ordered, and then this tiny little fire escape that I'm very excited to explore. And yeah, it's pretty sweet. Very cute, very tiny, but it will be fun. Okay. 
Okay, so I have made it to my food. I just got sweet green, which is one of my favorite, favorite things in the entire city of New York. They used to have something like this in Portland, but it just recently closed and they don't have it anymore. So now I have sweet green forever and ever and ever. And I also got an Olipop. I'm like lacking a bit of footage this afternoon because I am so hot and sweaty. I'm gonna get more tomorrow. I'm gonna do like a two day vlog, but I'm just gonna eat this and then figure out the rest of my day. All right, everybody, I have just returned from a very long day. I went to Whole Foods. I've just been like not filming so much all day because I've just been really overwhelmed trying to get everything done and I've also just been spending a lot of money which makes me anxious. I went to Whole Foods, got all of my groceries, and then I went to Van Leeuwen ice cream, got some ice cream. It's my favorite ever, ever, ever. And then I decided to Uber home from the grocery store because I didn't want to carry three bags of groceries and I forgot that you have to portion yourself when you're in New York. <laughs> Never grocery shop for myself here, so I couldn't carry four bags of groceries 30 minutes away. So, Ubered. And then it started pouring down rain because there's a hurricane passing over in New York right now. So, I am very, 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 very wet. Um, so now I have all of my groceries. <laughs> And I bought some cleaning supplies, and so I'm going to clean the apartment and my room and get my bed all set up and take an actual shower, not one from the natural elements, and go to bed. I'm gonna sign out for tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, vlog. It is 12 p.m. on Tuesday and i've just woken up about an hour and a half ago i made some avocado toast i made some caffeine free coffee that i got from whole foods yesterday and there is currently a hurricane passing through new york city so i have decided to postpone part two of this vlog until tomorrow because i cannot go anywhere and i will just be working from my computer in this tiny corner probably for the rest of the day and watching movies so yeah I'll, I'll see you tomorrow okay <laughs> Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. I'm in a time warp as you can't tell. I spent all day yesterday watching TV. I answered about five emails. I called as many friends as I could think of. A lot of friends called me as well. I cried a little. I slept a lot. And I made some mac and cheese. It was a great day. Not a good day for vlogging because I was feeling a little sad and lonely and depressed you know the drill yeah i didn't drink any caffeine yesterday and i got a really good night's sleep and i am feeling so much more refreshed now i just woke up and i decided that today is going to be my exploring day slash setting up day slash work day so i've just made some avocado rice cakes my very very favorite they are so good is it focusing on my rice cake there we go There's some good rice cake action I am going to walk a very long way to grab some of my favorite coffee in New York. I got kind of like sad yesterday because I instantly started like working and feeling depressed that I wasn't making enough money here or like I didn't have anything figured out but everybody I talked to reminded me that like I've been here for two days and I need to cut myself some slack so I'm trying to get better at that. And I'm gonna go exploring today and that's totally fine. My friend Kayla reminded me yesterday that I need to 
remind myself that I live here so that I can work here. I don't work to live here, if that makes sense. Like, I love living in New York, so I work hard so I can do it, rather than like, I moved to New York just so I can work all the time. So, it's gonna be really good. I'm feeling a lot more hopeful this morning, and I'm excited to just go out and see my city. So, I'm gonna take you around. I really wanted to make this vlog like, a little longer than what I made the other day, so this is gonna be more of the actual vlog part, and it's just gonna be really fun. So I'm gonna eat my rice cake, and then I'm gonna show you around the apartment. I've been so addicted to these lately. They're so good. Okay, so I thought I'd show you around the apartment now that I am like fully awake and I have put everything together. I don't know if I already told you the first day I was here, I like got home from like my massively long day and cleaned my room for like four hours, just like got everything all organized. It took me forever, but I got it done. I didn't show you at all. So here's a little tour. When you first walk into the apartment, um, there's this beautiful little space here. There's so many windows everywhere, which is so beautiful. And then, then we just have the kitchen, which is really open and beautiful. I'm just so thankful to be here for this time. I brought my blender with me. I need to clean up this area. So I <laughs> brought my blender in my suitcase. My mom packed it in there. I'm so glad it came. You guys know I'm addicted to my smoothies and I couldn't go without. So I thought I would just bring her along. She, she did very well on the trip. I'll do a little Whole Foods haul for you. I went to Whole Foods and went shopping for some groceries because I need to eat. I got bananas a cantaloupe because I have been loving melons lately. And then I have this little cupboard all to myself over here and I got rice cakes, Cafix, which is a coffee alternative. I'm trying to quit caffeine. It's not working very well, but we're trying to give it a try. I got cocoa powder for my smoothies. And then I have all my supplements. And then I bought just salt and pepper. And that's all for my Covered. In the fridge, I it's kind of messy. I got some red grapes, carrots, medjool dates, some chocolate bars because I need treats. I got some almond milk, and then I also bought Lara bars, my favorite, 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 and then avocados and apples and some lemons too. So yeah, I just wanted to keep things super simple while I am here because I don't have much space and it's also very hot out so I've been buying a lot of fresh food just a lot of super hydrating things and things that are going to keep me satisfied so I love eating super simple there's tons of really good places to eat out around here too so I'm going to be doing plenty of eating out that's kind of why I bought so like minimal groceries but yeah that's what I got at Whole Foods and then I'll take you back to my room here here's my bedroom it's very messy right now but basically this is the space i got rid of all my suitcases we're gonna put them in the downstairs storage my bed is a mess we i put all of my sheets on this twin bed that we have in here but blade is bringing a tool today so we can take down the couch and get it out of my room so i can just put my bed on the floor which will be really nice and then i have this beautiful open window here which is so pretty and it looks out into the backyard and there's a fire escape I'm gonna try to figure out how to get out on later and then for now I just have like my essential oils and hand cream and chargers on this little desk I put my computer here yesterday so that I could work and it kind of worked out well but there's a desk that Blade has that I'm gonna put in here later today so I think I'm going to put the new desk in here and then a chair and then I was gonna get a mirror, but there's already one outside that I think I'm gonna use. I was gonna go to Ikea and get all of this furniture and do all this decorating, but since I'm only here for 30 days, I'm gonna try to make it as cute as I can, but then again, I just don't wanna have to pack up and move more stuff. So I just decided it's gonna be a little less like cute, but it's gonna be very practical for this first month. So I'm gonna make it as cute as I can, but in my next apartment, it will be much sweeter and very much more like decorated so i put my clothes in my closet of course i only unpack the things that i'm really gonna wear which is i probably won't even wear all this stuff but everything fit really nicely there was already hangers in there which i'm so grateful for put all my shoes down here and then i have my 
suitcase, one of my suitcases in here, and then my bag. So everything fits really perfectly. I'm super grateful. Everything looks really good. So yeah. Also, Blade has a cat. Say hello, Blanca. Say hello. She's so sweet. She's very nice. This is a beautiful mirror, and so I'll show you my outfit of the day. I instantly realized when I got to New York that I need to up my fashion game, and I still haven't gotten there yet, but it's very hot out today. The weather here is so humid. And so I have my Madewell button down that I've had for like a hundred years. And then I just threw on these Aritzia linen shorts and then just some trusty Converse. I'm about to order Air Force Ones because newsflash, you need Air Forces if you're going to live in New York. Everybody has them and I try not to be a trend follower, but they're so cute and they will go with everything. Okay, so I... I'm gonna go head out and go to a coffee shop and spend my afternoon just breathing the New York air and taking in the sights. I just need to get off my computer and stop stressing and just get a little breather. So I'm really excited. I do have some sponsored content that has to go up at 12 p.m. here because I have to post three hours later now because all of my major demographic is on the West Coast. So I'm gonna try to get there before I have to do that, grab my coffee, post my posts, and then start my day. I'm really proud of myself for being chill with being awake at 10 a.m. because I never do that, but I'm switching time zones right now and it's gonna be a great day. Let's go grab some coffee. Okay, so these tables are very tiny, so I have to be very close to you, which is it's okay. I um, have been walking around, just exploring all afternoon. I stayed in Brooklyn. I thought about going to Manhattan, but I actually have a work call at five today, and it's already almost three, so I have to get back soon. So I just came back to Williamsburg, where I was on my first day, and I got another lunch at Eat by Chloe. This is a their crispy chicky salad, which has tempeh, chicken, almonds, wontons, mandarins, and then a green ginger dressing. I'm so excited. I'm just really happy to be here. It's such a nice day. It's really hot. I'm sweating bullets, but the only seating they have is outside because of COVID, which is totally fine. So I'm just gonna have some salad and then head back home and get to work because I have a lot to catch up on. I have just gotten back from, oh, it's so hot out. Okay, so I just got back from a long, fun afternoon. It's been a great day. I wanted to do a little bit of a thrift haul because I found a few things that I wanted to share. Today I went to Goodwill. I haven't been to Goodwill in a long time, but I found one when I was getting off the train in Bedford. Williamsburg, wherever I was. And so I got this white tank top. This will go perfect with like shorts and shorts because it's really hot here. And then I got this other white tank top. This is just like a gap tank, another cute one. I need more tank tops now that it's hot here and I just instantly wanted to get more tanks and then the other thing i got at goodwill was this really cool very large linen like white dress it's super baggy and open and i think i'm just gonna, whoop, just stepped on the cat bowl it's super wide and open i think i'm just gonna wear it and like put a belt around it with my sneakers or sandals or whatever but it's just super loose and really lightweight for the hot weather which will be great 
For those three things, I paid $15. I was not expecting Goodwill to be so affordable in New York, but lo and behold, it's cheaper than Portland. And then the last thing I found was at this other vintage store. I forget the name, but it's this cute little black tank. It's just another jersey tank. It has some spots on it, but I need to um, wash off. But it has this cute, like, lacy detail on the front. I just thought it'd be fun to wear with shorts and skirts and then maybe pajamas. I'm not really sure. But it's super just light and airy, which I need more of. So this one I got for $5. I'm really impressed with the thrift game here already. Like... Brooklyn has good thrifting. So right now I am going to move a desk from one of the empty rooms into my room and then set up my workspace and work for the rest of the day. I have a client call at 5 p.m. and it's 3.45 and then I have to catch up on client work and emails and then I'm going to edit this vlog. So I will update you as I go along but it's going to be few and far between as I finish up my day because I have a lot of work to catch up on. So. So this is my current desk situation. I just moved this very cute desk into my room. And so I just have this very cute chair that I'm subtly seeing for a little while. And then I set up my entire computer desk setup. These are all the things that I fit into my backpack on my way over. And I just love it. I feel complete now that I can have my workspace. I really missed working at a desk. I really love working. So I can't wait to sit down and get some stuff done. <laughs> So it has been a very long day. <laughs> I just finished um, a few emails, a work call, and I still have like so much work to do. So I'm gonna be working all day tomorrow after finishing this vlog and heading out. But right now, Blade got back this afternoon and it's so happy having him here and having company again. And so we're gonna head out and run a couple of errands and grab Swiffer pads from <laughs> the floor because we're adults. I'm so glad that Blade's here because he's going to show me around the neighborhood, help me get more acclimated to everything here, and it's just nice having friends. I think I've been alone for the last three days, and I love being alone, but it's also nice having friends around, so very happy about that, but yeah, we're going to head out, and hi, run some errands. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> super pads we couldn't find any so then we went to walk to poke and they were closed and then we walked to boba and they were closed and there was nothing so we just got a long walk out of it and we got kombucha and now we're both very very tired i'm going to end the vlog here this has been a very fun moving vlog slash day in my life slash everything i'm in new york now and it's very fun and i can't wait to make more videos now that i'm here so thank you so much for following along if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel there's lots more content coming and it's going to be really fun so i think that's about it i hope you guys have a great day or night or whenever you're watching this and i will see you next time bye bye <laughs> <laughs>